Hare Krishna. Question from Sundar Murari Prabhu. You mentioned in your uh, Bhakti Shastri course that uh, animals are not afraid of other animals the way humans are afraid of other humans, as in the case of terrorists and other uh, forms of humans attacking. But animals also, dogs are afraid of other dogs, and sometimes some animals even eat their cubs. So, how do we understand this? Uh, answer. There are two different contexts being stressed over here. There is, there can naturally be a territorial conflict. Say every dog has its own territory and if some other dog enroaches in that territory, the dog may bark. A dog may have a she dog and if someone else tries to uh, get her, the dog may fight. And the same with a lion or two lions may fight over a lioness. So that sort of conflict is natural. It is natural in the sense that it will be there in animals, it will be there in humans. But if we see in humans that the higher intelligence is used to aggravate conflict in a far, far greater way. So, for example, animals don't systematically, out of hatred, go around killing entire tribes of other animals. Uh, sometimes there is a specific animosity between say two tigers they may fight and one tiger may kill another tiger but say the way Hitler killed the Hitler's Nazi government killed the Jews millions or the way sometimes uh, because of some sectarian conflict genocide is done and the whole population is wiped out so such things are not seen in the animal kingdom so the point of that was being made is that while we uh, why that while the struggle for existence is a natural fact of material existence and that struggle can be across species that struggle can be within species but the intensity of the struggle and the gravity of the destruction that results because of that uh, a struggle that is far more in the human species because humans use their higher intelligence uh, which is meant for actually pursuing high, uh, inquiring and uh, realizing higher spiritual truth humans abuse that higher intelligence for lower purposes so an animal does not make an atom bomb to drop over hiroshima or nagasaki you know humans have done that and that way the struggle for eating sleeping mating defending when the higher intelligence is abused for pursuing that in a disproportionate unregulated way it can have devastatingly destructive consequences so the main point is the abuse of higher intelligence for lower purposes causes greater danger and greater misery uh, than what the similar situations cause in the animal kingdom thank you Hare Krishna